Hey guys, it's me, Big Mass S two third here. And first before I get into today's video, I wanna thank you guys for one hundred subscribers. I'm gonna be having a one hundred one hundred subscriber special coming up here soon. I am gonna be filling up my shop vac. Sorry for the background noise. I am going to be filling this all the way up to the complete brim. And a bunch of at Bissell, the Dirt Devil, completely filled. I'm going to have both of my 2.5 gallon shop vacs completely filled up to their brims with dirt. And I'm going to throw it out in my living room carpet and I'm going to make a huge big mess test with was it to congratulate 200 subscribers. There's my silly puppy Sarge. He is a purebred Siberian Husky eating his foot. Ain't you? Knucklehead. So, today I have got my Hoover Fusion um, cordlistic vacuum and I've got the Black & Decker Power Series Extreme Pro. The um, I forget which model this is. This is like the model. This is below the pet, but it's also not their standard. I will leave a link in the description for that one. So. Both bins are completely empty. This one's just dusty and dirty. Both cyclones are clean. So, I'm going to use this and I'm going to vacuum my whole living room with it. Then I'm going to go over with the Black & Decker on its medium power, which is what this is ran in. Being ran in its medium power. And it's going to be on carpet. So, in other words, let's get going. See the same carpet. I haven't vacuumed in a couple of days, so it's very interesting to see what it can get out. That's my dog's toy. I can visually feel it agitating the carpet and digging out all the dirt. This is a really good vacuum for its price point when it was sold. They only sold this in between 2013 and 2015. In 2015 because um, it didn't have the best filtration but they have the newer version of it which is the Hoover React cordless stick which is very similar to this this was the pet version at the time you could get this was the best pet cordless vacuum of that year. And there's everything from this again. It goes from this side over. It's going to use one bar of charge. See? Look at those broom lines from it. You guys hear that weird noise? This does need a new bearing.
new brothel berry. So let's go through all that cat litter get picked up. This is a really good cordless big vacuum. Even to nowadays, there are some cordless vacuums that don't even compare to it. how good it is. This is like up there next to Dyson level of performance. But the fractal cost of Actually, you don't get the quality of a Dyson product. But you are getting nearly the same performance as one. And I will be showing you guys what is left. What each one is to pick up out of this whole room cleaning. Oh, another cool thing is, so turn off the brush roll. That's its trigger. You click it. Now it's off. If you hold it, it's on. Release it. But if you take your finger and you double tap it, it stays on. See, my finger isn't on and it's on. I'm going to move this table out of the way so I can clean under it. That so far everything has picked up. That's quite a bit. This has a 50 watt power head on it. Pretty big. For it only having a 1.5 amp hour battery. Okay. Well, a very good job at cleaning. I'll pick it up. I'll clean all that dirt out of there. Lift it up. Move it. All right. It's very creaky. So, that is everything, all the grit, nasty, in the hair that this Hoover got. Now, I'm going to go put this in my bedroom, and I'll show you the guys' results at the end of the video. Alright guys, I'm back. I got uh, my Black & Decker up and run. I got a 20 volt, 2 amp hour power connect battery in it. And I'm gonna have it in its middle setting, which is its carpet bone. Put the brush holder on. Let's see what that Hoover was. This does have 75 better percent better pickup on carpet and hard floor than any other vacuum on any other cordless vacuum on the market in its price range. It's doing a fantastic job at cleaning. So far, that's all the hair. 
Can I have a vacuum in three days? So, there's going to be a quite a bit of hair and dirt in the floor. I might be getting my carpet replaced. I'm not sure. So if you can see what's happening to it, it's from the parking area. The carpet's just old and worn out. I don't think this is going to pick up much to do it. Again, I'd like to congratulate you guys for the 200 subscribers. I don't understand why he has my mom's pillow. Knucklehead. Alright, let's go see the results. Alright, give me a sec while I'm uh, put it down on the floor over here so that I can show you guys the results a lot better. Alright guys, I'm back. So, this is what the Hoover Fusion got. A lot of hair and cat litter and dog food like I expected it to. It's what the Black & Decker got. You got mostly a lot more hair and a little bit more kitty litter. Now, their filters. This filter does got some dirt in it. And this one is clean. Still. And that's the inside of a cyclone. So, we're going to come over here. Here's the Hoover. You know, it's not how not very much is coming out of it. But that's good. Now I'm going to take the Black & Deckers. And I'm going to... Tap it. Look at all that. Fine dust. That is coming out of that filter. This is what the Hoover came out of the Hoover's filter. Very fine dust. But I've been using that vacuum for about a week now. And I haven't cleaned this filter once. The Black Decker was clean. I washed it. It was white. Look at all that came out. And look. It's not very white anymore. And there's still dirt down in there. So... Yes, there is fine dust and more in this than in here, but the Hoover has a lot more better. It has a dual cyclone in it, and this is only a single cyclone, and all that dirt managed to pass through the three mesh filters that's in, the three sponge filters that's in the cyclone. Versus this. So, in other words, that's going to do it for today's video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more videos. And once again, thank you for 100 subscribers. And the 100 subscriber special will be coming very, very soon. Bye for now.